Hello awesome viewers, how are you all? Welcome back to another video. Guys, in this video we are going to discuss how can we take a screenshot using HTML by HTML2 Canvas. So this was one of the questions asked by one of the viewer. So basically he is asking to take a screenshot of a page by only using HTML. Like we have used a puppet here, just use HTML. So for using that, for doing that we can use HTML. Also, a little bit of JavaScript, easily we can do the take a screenshot. Without any further ado, let us start the video. Guys, as you can see on the screen, I have uh, open HTML2 canvas. So, I need a JavaScript library also with HTML, we can easily do. For JavaScript library, you have to open uh, let me add that also. So you have to open this one cdjn.com libraries html2 canvas. So the first one which is there, you can take this link, it will uh, take all the libraries of the JS which is needed. So I'll add it here. So meanwhile, I'll start the program. So let me add html. After that, uh, I'll add a head. After that, I can add a script. So in the script, I can add the same CDN link which I have got it for HTML2 canvas. So script I'll add, I'll add a type, so type which type you are using. We are using simply text slash JavaScript. We can, we can give this or not, it doesn't matter. Just I'm giving it uh, just to see through that we are using javascript that's it and uh, once we have written javascript we can write the source here source will be so source i can copy the same thing here so let me copy the cdn link okay so once we have done that we can close the head we can move to the body in the body also we can add a html and also the JavaScript by header we can easily mention. Okay, uh, we are taking a screenshot of uh, web page with HTML2 canvas. So we can write that. So taking screenshot of web page by HTML2 canvas. So now we need a image to make for a screenshot image so image i'm using it here so this is a bird simple bird image so we can give a width and a height for it to take a screenshot all the time so now let's move on to the program we can add a div tag after the h1 tag right so div tag i can add i can give the div tag id so it can be recognizable so I'll write ID as bird and I can add a class also. Even I'll add class as bird, but normally we can use document.getArrangement by ID. We can use ID then and there itself. So inside the div tag, I can easily arrange the image tag. Inside the image, we can write our source. So source here, if we are if you are having the word in the same uh, same folder, so in order to give the particular URL, I can write just uh, bird.png. So bird.png I can write. And I can define what is the width required. So I'll write width as width as hundred. And also I can define the height with an height as 100. So both I have defined it as 100. Now we have given the image source. So div tag we can close. Now we will need uh, in order to interact like let's say for the user you are saying just click on the screenshot. For that you can write a button. So let me write input. I will write a type type I'll write it as button in the button I can take an ID 
so I'll write ID screenshot the value I can write which will be displayed I can write uh, take screenshot and I have to write a function here on click so on click I can write a function called screen shot so this will be my function so I can close this input tag I can give a break if I want so let's have a break so now once we start once we give a break we can easily write a script here so the script we are writing inside the body so you know differentiate between the script here written which is inside the head and the script inside the body in this script we are just going to write a simple function so script also we can give type which we have given on the top we will copy the same thing and just not uh, now it write it again and again so you can copy the type here now let me just try the function so i'll write a function which i have given here screenshot i'll copy the same so i'll write close bracket insert the function i'll give html2 canvas in fact, it I'll write document dot get element by ID. So which ID do we need? So ID of a bird. So ID we have got it here of a bird. After that, we can write then function. I'll write a function. Insert the function I can write canvas and I'll write open write close bracket here. So I'll write document dot body dot we'll have a friend child inside that what we have to print the canvas which we have taken the screenshot. So uh, now let me reload the page so we have a, a bird as a image we can take a screenshot let me click on screenshot so we can click as many screenshots as we want so if we take this copy it has now appended the chat hope you would have liked the video guys if you like the video please click on like if you are a new viewer please click on subscribe till then guys take care have a great day bye bye